and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Teamer Elementals. That This is going to be our next deck that we're going to play here. So we got a donation deck here where we, we have our you know regular Risen Reef focused deck. Um, the goal of this deck is, you know, like we're like we've been playing against uh, some of these Risen Reef decks here today that have been wrecking us, and now it's our time to do it. So our goal is basically get as many Risen Reefs as possible in play, and um, be able to trigger them and everything. We have uh, so that they die. We have Thunderkin Awakener that can bring them back uh, from the graveyard um, as well, and then we also have the Neo Forms that can help find them. Uh, like we can. Uh, Sacrifice Awakener or Leaf Kindred to go find Risen Reef. Uh, whenever Risen Reef's in play, if we activate uh, Chandra's Zero ability, we get two elemental creature creatures that uh, trigger the Risen Reefs. And then if we have a Scampering Scourger, also that can get us a whole bunch of elementals to trigger Risen Reefs. Basically, this deck's all about Risen Reef. It's all built around Risen Reef and everything like that. Our top end. We got a couple of Chandras, give our opponents a bunch of emblems, finish games off. Also, like the minus three doesn't kill our elemental creatures, so it's just like a one sided three damage sweeper. Um, but yeah, like if, if they're already like having to try to deal with all these Risen Reefs and all these all the ping damage from Scampering Scourgers and Chandras and everything, hopefully, emblems can finish them off. And then also, if we get a whole bunch of lands in play with the Risen Reefs, we got a couple Krasis. Uh, that can be crazy as well. And obviously Omnath with all the extra lands with Risen Reef can draw lots of cards and everything like that too. So good old Teamer Elementals here. Uh, sideboard, we got a couple Healer of the Glade for aggro. Um, and then just some, uh, just a variety of interaction depending on what our opponent's doing. And if they're playing Control, we got another three mana Chandra uh, to bring in there also. Okay, so here we go. So a bunch, okay, so yeah, you're worried about a bunch of aggro in best of one. Do you have, with this kind of deck, all right, so this is a donation deck, so we're going to play a league with it. That's what we like doing with our donation decks. We're going to see if we can get to five wins before two losses. Do you have four Healer of the Glade in the main deck? Because honestly, I think this deck could play for, like, for best of one. I think you could play four Healer of the Glade in the main deck. Um, I think that's that's definitely reasonable. And so, ha have you tried doing that in the best of one decks? Because yeah, I, I expect I expect aggro to be the the hardest thing. Like you you want this deck like pre boarded for aggro basically in best of one. Let's give this a try. We don't have red mana right now, but the temple I like having the temple because the temple can help scry us to red, and then you know we have the leaf kin to um, help ramp us. Hunted Witness. That's a good card. Hmm. All right, even though it's not red mana, I'm still going to keep it just because it's mana. Uh, try to get to Cavalier Thorns on turn four. <laughs> uh, I'm happy to hear, Team Divies. I'm happy to hear that. All right, so it looks like our opponent's playing like a white weenie variant. Hey, it all worked out. We got our red mana. So working out. We get Cavalier next turn. You know, we get the the trigger with Omnath here. Can't attack you or a planeswalker you control unless their controller pays two for each of those creatures. That can be rough. I'll let them trade their 2 1 or 2 1 1s. It's fine. Ah. I 
I do not have uh, two mana to pay for attacking, so I cannot attack. So it's like each each time you whenever you want to attack with any creature. Oh no, oh it's only until oh it's just one turn until your next turn. Oh you're right. It is just a one turn thing. So it's just ghostly prison for one turn, it's not just ghostly prison all the time. Okay, Neoform's good. That is not a good block. My poor opponent. That was like... That was honestly the worst possible block you could make. Alright, so... Fortunately, we had just a really good hand and good curve and everything, but... Kind of playing against a newer deck here. Poor opponent. All right, so we'll have uh, Neoform go get another Risen Reef here. Yeah, they should have had the three three block the Awakener. Last turn instead of just jump block with it. All right, let's grow, grow Awakener. I could get Settle the Wreckaged. That could happen. That did look like Sparky's deck. Could be that could be Sparky's deck. So three mana. Was it like a sorcery or something? You may sacrifice two foods. If you do create a seven seven giant. If not, just create three foods. Alright, so if we draw green mana, this hand is busted. We have 18 green sources, I'm pretty sure. 4, 5, 6, 7, 11, 12, 16, 18. Yeah, we have 18 green sources, and we're on the draw. I think we can do it. Nailed it. usually get real good matches here with in the in the um 
in the leagues and everything because yeah it is just you know it is a thousand gold entry and everything but there are times where you do get paired against new players um, it happens all right we'll keep that risen reef value going The only thing that needs to change with this deck to make it rotation proof is not having Llanowar Elf and then the uh, few buddy lands. I think that's it, honestly. This deck is almost completely rotation proof. So we would be able to turn four Chandra. That was turn two Risen Reef, turn three Risen Reef. Hit a couple of lands there. So we would be able to play Chandra on turn four if we want. Hmm. I understand you are in need of support. Johnny's certainly good. You are capable of more than you assume. Yeah, Johnny's good. To fight in. I'm going to go ahead and just clear those two creatures out. Should make it pretty easy to pick off this Ajani now. Whether we want like Omnath to kill it next turn or um, Chandra's minus to kill it. Wow. Wow. So I don't get to Omnath and Neoform and Awakener. I mean, just, it doesn't really matter what I choose to do. Like, they're, they're going to be dead. I guess I shouldn't have played the land first. Emblem. <laughs> no pressure. Yes, this deck could play Field of the Dead. I already have 10 different lands right now in the deck. And like next turn, we would have we have like Awakener get back another Risen Reef and Scampering Scorger, and with the Omnaths, it just just get such ridiculous card advantage. All right, we'll see what we play against here. Well, if you play Paradise Druid instead of Llanowar Elf, you can have 
fixing there, but I, w I wouldn't say like you just put like four Field of the Deads in, but I think I think the the deck can support one or two Field of the Deads. I am playing, as you can tell, I am playing one Rugged Highlands because I wanted the 16th Red Source and 18th Green Source. So I do actually have a Rugged Highlands in the deck. Heroes can get, they can go, they can get out of control for sure. Doing it this way where we kill one hero and now if, there we go, if we get to Omnath, we can kill the other hero, but, you know, they don't, they still have their land drop. Your first standard tournament opponent went turn one, rich, dark ritual, dark ritual, him to Turok, hypnotic specter. Oh, the only need, you only one need one dark ritual for that. Oh no, because they went hip him. Oh wow, wait no, yeah, because they went him to Turok also, and then hypnotic specter, and then turn two strip mine. Yeah, that is that is insane. Yeah, that's that is busted. Grow this Awakener. Godzilla! Thanks so much for the Twitch Prime sub. I really appreciate that. That is our fifth sub of the day. Alright, halfway to our sub goal. Hmm. So yeah, now Awakeners gets gets to bring back Omnath. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Didn't take too much hostage there. Hmm. So I like Little Chandra, and I like... I guess maybe we don't need all the the coils. The coils were really good, but just because, you know, they had all their Hero of Precinct ones. I kind of don't really want Leafkin Druid, to be honest. Or Neoform. Like, I kind of feel like we don't need that, that two mana card there. Yeah, I could just play Leafkin instead of Land War because it triggers Risen Reef, but... And it also helps out with Omnath. But I do think Land of Worlds, Land of Worlds is a better card. I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this. 
Yeah, I like Gilded Goose. Yeah, I think Gilded Goose is good. Um, yeah, I'd say I'd say this is pretty close to a, a tier one deck. Um, heavy control is not really what the deck struggles with for the most part. I would say the deck struggles with uh, aggro. Like the fast aggro is what is really what gives this deck more trouble than heavy control. But yeah, all, all decks can lose basically every matchup. There's, there's not really 100 to 0 matchups. We're going to have to top deck pretty well here in this game. Our hand isn't really that good. And they're going to just make it worse here, so. Cavalier is really nice, except for um, if they have another Thought Erasure to take it. Hmm. I guess they choose Risen Reef. Lava Coil? What in the world? What in the world? Like we just upgraded our, our lava coil. Now we have this Veil of Summer. This just counterspell draw card. Like thanks for just upgrading our, our lava coil. I think I keep Rugged Highlands in hand. Because they could have Bell Hunt. Okay, yeah, by upgrading Lava Coil, I meant that we turned our Lava Coil into a better card. I mean, by upgrading, like, it, they they made our hand better. Like, I would have rather had Veil of Summer than the Lava Coil. Anyway, so they... So, yeah, that's what I meant by upgrading the hand. So they just spent a card to make my hand better. For those of you watching... At home, do not bring in Unmored Ego against mid-range decks like this. And do things like that. Do not do that. Unmored Ego is only playable if it completely cripples the opponent. You only want to take cards like Nexus of Fate and Field of the Dead and Kethys and things like that. Only only something that... Basically like those three things. That's what you want Unmored Ego for. All right, but Team Our Elementals, 2 and O. Oh. Shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> Should not have said anything. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> I once I once unward egoed a Golgari Citadel deck only to discover they sideboarded out all of their citadels. Wow. That's some next level stuff right there. Ooh, resolve. Rhineborn Cutthroat. The Merfolk Pirate. Hmm. <laughs> Your favorite ego play was pure spite. Get a single e ego, bring in a single ego from the sideboard and use it to get rid of the four egos in the opponent's deck. Yes, I am jump blocking the 5 4. Well, I mean, I guess I have to now because now it's lethal, but I shocked in there to play the land world to jump block. Hmm. Resolve. That's really good. That's really good. We're probably sitting with the double green spells in hand. So Fry is awesome against Cutthroat, but doesn't kill doesn't kill the wolf. This is better against the wolf. Doesn't do anything against Cutthroat. Um, obviously, we're bringing in Veil of Summers. That's obvious. Um, and negates, honestly. Right? Don't we want negate? I think we want negate. I don't want Neoform. The sacrifice a creature, then get it get countered. That is real bad. Doesn't... We almost survive the the rotation the only things that are rotating out are the four land war elves and then a couple of the lands you know just a little bit of the mana base here like one harbor the four rootbound crags and the silver falls so almost But not quite.
<laughs> Lanor Goose brings up Gilded Goose. It's pretty good. Yeah, we're getting pretty close to another 12 hour stream. We're getting there. I think we're at 14 sub goals hit, if I remember correctly. Hey, Brolin with the tier one sub. Bring in the hype to the chat. Thank you so much there, Brolin. Maybe I should trim Awakener. Awakener is the kind of card that whenever you have... Whenever you have Risen Reef, it looks good. When you don't have Risen Reef, it doesn't look so good. Yeah, so six more sub goals. And then we got a 12 hour stream. I wish I had two red sources and I could have gone Awakener and Fry. This doesn't look so great for us. Probably should have played Awakener last turn. Instead of Scourger. Want to draw a Vela Summer. So we can have Veil and Omnath for to kill this Wolt. That would be ideal. That would be ideal.
So, of course, the Shifting Ceratops has protection from uh, blue. So the protection from blue, I can't target it with Omnath. Putting the counter over here means that we have four toughness worth of creatures that, that can, or four power worth of creatures that can block Ceratops now. We can just trade here. So honestly, a land would be a good draw to pump Awakener out to be a 2-3. Never mind. Land's not a good draw. Land's not a good draw at all. Oh, mass manipulation. Got me pretty good. Well darn. Okay. It's not bad. Not a bad turn. Now we have Fry to deal to be able to kill the Omnath also. <laughs> yeah, I don't I was not expecting mass manipulation, I can tell you that. Still was not expecting mass manipulation. Yeah. That was the exact block I wanted them to do. No. Thunderkin. Thunderkin really did so much work for us here in this game. It really, really did. I didn't want to, I didn't block with one of the 1-1s one because I wanted, I wanted these 1-1s one to be able to block their creatures. Oh gosh. My hand was just loaded still. I've been just drawing lands and land worlds. It's a loaded hand. Let's see, how can I win this? I can't. So mass manipulations, huh? Yeah, Thunderkin with Royal Scions, and then you can return Omnath. That is pretty nice. Yeah, I like that quite a bit. All right, I should be playing these Negates.
Alright, we're playing the negates. The thing is, is so yeah, you're saying negates are better than elves, but the thing is, is we need to be able to double spell. We need to be able to like cast our thing and also have mana for negate to be able to counter a counter spell. And the the way to do that is to have um is to have land or elves. We can't so I can't cut them. Like we we need we desperately need land or elves. Cause we gotta be fast also. Double spelling is at a premium against the counter spell deck. So we need extra mana. And they also don't play very much removal, so the land worlds are safe. I want to play either Omnath or Krasis, because I don't want them to just be able to throw down the 2-1. Wasn't sure which one I wanted to play, though. I wish we had red removal for Chandra. No. Find your fires of passion within. To be able to minus and recast. Like if we draw like a lava coil, we can like try to coil and if it gets countered then recoil. <laughs> recoil. Oh, with Thunder can awaken her first. See if they would counter Thunder can awaken her. Wish they did. No, Thunderkin does not get back Omnath. Thunderkin only gets back creatures with um with toughness less than it. I am really surprised they made that trade, to be honest. Yeah, it's based on toughness. Hey, these little guys are great. So it's it's honestly better for me to hold on to Omnath. To be honest. So I get to, you know, because again, double spelling is just at a premium. So, you know, like they, 
we play something, they counter one thing, and then we have another for it. But the, the problem is, is the wolf, you know, like with four mana, if, if I don't play anything, then they just play Nightpack Ambusher. I can be in a lot of trouble. We need to keep drawing spells, not not drawing lands like, like we have been the last few draws. I'm telling Mother Ludi on you. And they're just sitting it perfectly at four mana. You know, like they just have like that those extra, all those extra spells. They've, it's just perfect mana for them. It's exactly what they want. Can't believe Mother Ludi gave us homework. Dang. Oh, so yeah, because Thunderkin's based on toughness, so Royal, Royal Signs does not help it at all. Gotcha. Maybe I'm not cut out to be a monk. This is over. Bleh. No, I haven't, Marias. I have not. Finally, we draw a Veil of Summer. Couldn't find it, those at all. In our first cards, but yeah, they're still just sitting there with the four mana. Just absolute perfect for our opponent. Uh, dang. Could have used those Veil of Summers at any point earlier on, but oh well. Three mana Chandra obviously was was basically a dead card that game. Um, Trillion here for Risen Reef, but then you know we had our I think six, maybe five, either five or six uh, removal spells that I had in there after sideboarding that we need to find. All right, we're down to five. It's not easy to win on five cards. We're going to try, though. Yeah, sometimes you have the good variants. Like, yesterday we had a lot of good variants. We had, you know, like, we were, like, all four of our decks all did really, really well, and, and we had a lot of good variants. Today it's been a lot of bad variants. Um, you know, it happens. Do you want, for Throwback Thursday, Quenda or Danitha Compassion? Chandra, you need more control. Just let me burn. Study, focus. I just want to burn stuff already. We draw a Risen Reef. That'd be nice. Making two elemental tokens, like basically the zero, the other zero does one damage to them. I think I'd rather have the extra loyalty on Chandra than the one damage. We want to find Risen Reef. Get him, 
All right, now we have five loyalty. We have a Hydro Crisis to block and everything. I think now that one damage is more valuable, especially with Chandra being able to give them an emblem. Like, I, I don't plan on doing Quende or Danith at Compassion, but I'll, I'll check them out. I'm going to write those down as, as options. Immolation sensation. Utterly is the best way to destroy things. Spreads fast with help. All right, I'm just gonna get that wild growth walker out of here so they don't get to um, gain more life. And I did have it set up like with adding the, the loyalty counter here, I did have it set up where maybe we could minus three the other Chandra the next turn. Hmm. So four. So they have two blockers. Block five, block there. So they take one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, yeah, so this is lethal. Okay. We had 10 damage there. It's going to take, you know, take out a risen reef. We had 10 damage. It's going to minus one, take out the risen reef. Or I guess I could have just emblemed also. Really, I guess emblem was kind of better, but yeah. You know. The minus three for our big Chandra, if we would have gone loyalty counter and then minus three for the big Chandra, it would only have killed their Jade Light Ranger. So that wouldn't have helped. Wild Growth Walker and Risen Reef, of course, are elementals. So it would not have done anything against those creatures. So Ether Gust is coming in. This is a matchup where we got to kind of be fast. Their Cavalier Thorns and everything is going to be, they're going to be troublesome. Hey, Doctor. Not sure exactly what I want to do here as far as sideboarding goes. I want the Llanowar Elf. Or sorry, the other lava coil. I'm gonna take out a leafkin, a cavalier at thorns, a big chandra, and try that. Sigled sword of Valeron. There's a lot of like middling equipment in standard. It's kind of looking at those.
<clears throat> Yay, no jade light. No attack. I really wanted my opponent to attack. I guess it's just a 1 3, so that's fine. That's not attacking. Doesn't kill Thunder, can awaken her still. Oh, right. Thunder can awaken her as toughness. Again. Does not bring back. Does not bring back Leafkin. Not power, it's toughness. Hey, Tamiyo. To the library. Your aggression is noted. I guess it's really not that bad of a bad. A or maybe I should just go this route. I guess I was thinking that I, I was going to play Chandra to kill Tamiyo, but I've kind of changed my mind. Alright, we're just going to play this. That was my, my plan, but then if I if I do that... Yeah, I changed my mind. Because if I do that, then uh, you know, Wild Growth Walker gets to kill Chandra. Let's just do that. Chandra still has five loyalty with the minusing. I think you will find my notes helpful. Wow. Pretty good. Pretty good. Speaking of pretty good, I give you Risen Reef. way to destroy things. <laughs> you are setting a bad example. Triggers. Oh man. Three mana Chandra with double Risen Reef next turn. If my opponent does play Cavalier of Thorn, much from my you know, we have the, the Lava Coil plus the, the other Chandra minus. Chandra can also recast the Neo form to turn Cloudkin Seer into. Omnath as well. So Omnath would do four damage right now. Hmm. Yeah, oh, yeah, sorry. I watched the Iowa game, Iowa game last night before you sent that message. 
No, because I would I have to sack Cloudkin Seer to Neoform to get to get it, so it'd do four damage. I think we just I think instead of doing that, I'm just gonna zero and just draw two or draw four. And just see what we draw. All right. This, we didn't draw too much good stuff, but we draw two. We did draw too much for our opponent to want to try to fight it out. So th three and one. Yeah, because ideally I wanted to minus one just the Risen Reef to exile the Risen Reef and not minus one plus Coil the Walker because I want to get rid of the Risen Reef. So I wanted to have like Omnath be able to kill the walker, but oh well. Hmm. We're back down to a five card hand again. I suppose. Yeah, it was so close. Such a such a close game. Such a good game. It's a really good rivalry, the Iowa, Iowa State. The Hawks barely got there. So I thought the Hawkeyes were like one and a half point favorites, and so they won by one. <laughs> Made sense. Gonna go Scourger here while we know that we get to get all this attacking damage in. And it could set up Omnath to do more damage to like a blocker or something also. Or just more damage upstairs. See? Perfect. Yeah, Scampering Scourger, it just shows you the value of just having just going uh, having three bodies. You know, for four mana, having three power, three toughness isn't spectacular. But whenever you spread that out across three bodies, it makes it much more valuable because it's hard to deal with three bodies with removal spells and in combat and all that kind of stuff. We're so close to finishing the job. <laughs> yeah, stoke the flames with Scorcher, that'd be pretty nice. I can no longer stand by and watch. Bounce Krasis. Here we go. Darn.
So it's Yeah, we would have to get two counters on Awakener to be able to return Omnath, right? Like, it has to be a Yeah, I thought about attacking with Scorcher to put it in the yard to be able to return with Awakener. Definitely considered that. Um, kind of with like, I'm assuming my opponent's going to play a lot of creatures or like, you know, get a lot of zombie tokens here, though. I think having it in play where if we draw Omnath, we get to do five damage is can be key like they they can gain some extra life here with gain life lands and stuff i don't know i've got it yuck Uh, yeah, no, it's not. It's not less than or equal to. It's just Awakener is just less than. So we we have to get two counters on Awakener. It's really just draw Omnath or lose. And I guess it's really just lose. Fourteen there. <sighs> Couldn't finish them off. We almost did. We had a five card hand. And, you know, we we did draw a lot of lands there at the end, so like we came close. I don't have any blood suns in the list because they're, um, you know, our list is built on not playing any or trying not to have like rares that rotate. So we don't, so we don't have blood suns. So we don't have cards I really want to be honest. Um, we're going to play negates instead of lava coils. Maybe no three mana Chandra. We're going to have negates and a couple fries. <laughs> Yeah, this was one that we really wanted to win game one. Since we don't have uh, Blood Suns, they get to tune their deck to, to beat ours better than what we get to tune ours to beat theirs. We're basically running that back again. Uh, no, the the big decks in this format, no, they are 
uh, what my opponent's playing, like the, the Golos Elementals. And then Esper, like that's probably the biggest deck, but then Esper Hero and Vampires are the next biggest decks. Um, but there's a lot of kind of different variations on this five color deck. Yeah, there's Gilded Goose. There's a mana creature in Throne of Eldraine. Almost whiffed. So we still have negate for something like that. go. That's a good card. That's good. Oh. I guess not as good as I was thinking. For some reason I thought I was going to be able to play the other Omnath also. But I can't. That worked. And if there is another wrath, you know, we get to put like whatever back on top. You know, anything to pair with Omnath. Alright, going to game three. That one worked out pretty well for us.
Um, I can't really see anything that I necessarily want to change. So let's get to it. Game number three. Smug with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much, there, Smug. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back, I guess, because resub in there. Sub number seven on the day. So I don't think I really like this hand. Like we had to, we have to draw blue mana just to be in it, and then even if we do draw blue mana, it doesn't look spectacular. Yeah, I want like mm, all tap lands now. All right, we're gonna look for other lands. Oh no, it's, we just draw our worst possible card. <laughs> okay, there we go. I'm glad we put back the land. Hit a land. Alright, suddenly that Chandra was not our worst possible card, suddenly. Suddenly we have lots of lands. Stop baffling end of my Risen Reefs. Forgot about that. They did that last time, too. It's rude. Um, so if I play Omnath, I don't get to hold up Negate. Prison Reef. Let's make this quick. I've got other things to do. I don't know if this is actually better than just playing like Cavalier Thorns. And everything and just getting more like more triggers and putting more out on the battlefield right now to be honest reduced to embers oh stop that was a fantastic turn for them Fantastic turn for them. All right, I need a, I need a cheap elemental to pair up with this Omnath to kill the deputy. They need blockers. Well, they got blockers. That is the best possible cheap elemental. The best possible. All right, I think we got this. I 
I think we got this. We're gonna kill the Krasis. Play our land for turn. Get set. You know, just loading up on that Cavalier so I got, got the biggest attack in possible. That was an amazing turn for us. Down to six. I think the real question is, if they attack both at Chandra, do I give away Risen Reef to keep Chandra alive? There's no Nexus over there. They don't, they don't have the mana for another Nexus. So I get to kind of, they, they can force the force the action where I have to, wow, they didn't force the action. That probably just kills them then. I was really surprising they didn't have these two attack Chandra to at least kill my Risen Reef or Chandra. Draw more cards. Yeah, I guess I just have lethal by playing Omnath. I kind of want to... Well, that's cool. That's fun. I kind of wanted to play Land War Elf Neoform for Thunderkin Awakener. And then Awakener, you know, bring back, like, Scampering Scourger. All right, four and one. On to the final boss. Yeah, like, we weren't losing that. Because, yeah, I could definitely just play the Omnath and kill them. But we weren't losing it. But where's our final boss? Playlist. Here we go. Final boss time. Final boss time. Let's go. Bjorn, with the sub, getting the hype in the chat. Thank you so much. Now you get to, now Bjorn, now you can throw out your final boss emotes as well. Thank you so much there, Bjorn. Risen Reef. No. Got a... Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, perfect time to sub too, with it being September. Subs are half price. So yeah, so thanks for the support. All right, Risen Reef, where you at? 
Gotta charge up the sleeves, look for a Risen Reef. I don't think you should worry too much about the elementals losing strength strength when standard rotates because I think it I think the rotation is just going to help out elementals because they're all in M20, like they're all staying around, and standard's going to be a lot weaker in general. Teamer, as well as a really good color combination, uh, mana base wise right now, like how you have temp the. Uh, blue, red, and green, blue temples. This was overwhelming. None, none of the elementals that are played here are rotating. I. I have played Vivian Arcbow Ranger in an, in like a Sultai Elemental deck. I haven't tried it in a Teamer Elemental deck. I should do that with like Omnath and all these other things, Scampering Scourger or Awakener and all that kind of stuff. I should try that. I haven't tried that. Surprised they didn't take Chandra, to be honest. I know who I am. And no one is telling <laughs> Guess they may have planeswalker removal. Maybe they probably didn't realize that Leafkin added two mana and that I was going to be playing the Chandra the next turn. Yeah, whenever I play ranked, I play five matches in ranked. When I do when I do the leagues, the leagues are play until you win five or lose two. So you do get uh you do have the ability to play six matches sometimes. You know, you can go five one or four two. But then also the leagues, you know, could just be like, you know, you go O2 and, and you're out kind of thing as well. So this is perfect. These. Let's get toast. <clears throat> These uh, emblems are just going to ping our opponent to death. It's perfect. Left the Scampering Scourger in hand because the Scampering Scourger has haste. Like the Omnath right now gets to do a lot of damage with these other with these Scourgers in right now. Yeah, they were not happy with that Leafkin Druid letting me cash Chandra. All right, so that went perfectly. So we saw Narset. Narset probably means control. So we have Fry, Negate, Chandra, Veil of Summer. I don't think we actually won all of these cards, but that's what we got. We're not going to play Coil. And not going to play Neoform. And then not play Leafkin Druid. See, I don't love having all these Negates and Veil of Summers because of Little Teferi. Trim a negate. No, trim a veil. Yeah. All right, here we go. How would I build this for best of one? I would play four, um, four of the uh, healing, heal the glade. I don't know, healer of the glade. Whatever that one that one drop that's in my sideboard, I'd play four of those in the main deck. I would I would have those in there. Um, Cause I think against best of one, like best of one, like you're really gonna be worried about aggro. Like you need to be worried about aggro. So I'd have four of those in there. They do get to Thought Erasure before I can have Veil of Summer up. Or, you know, Negate or anything like that. So they can, they can Veil of, they can, sorry, they can uh, Thought Erasure and take Risen Reef. Which would be sad. I 
I would probably, to make room, I'd probably take out the Acolyte of Flames. All right, well, we got backup Risen Reef now. That's good. We need to draw a third land. That's what we need. We need backup lands. We did not get a third land. Third land. Well, that was the worst draw to hit off of Cloudkin Seer because of Legion's End. Um, I get, if they don't have Legion's End, though, it's a good draw. All right, so no Legion's End, so it's a good draw. Alright, so we got Negate and Veil of Summer up. Darn. I was hoping we'd hit land, of course. Narset is like one impulse, you know, we, we get to attack Narset. Well, that's mean. We don't get to ve we don't get to veil some of that. That's mean. So I want to play Chandra. I want to get Chandra in play. In a it's usually harder for them to kill Chandra. Hey, we'll get some triggers here. Hopefully hit lands. Great. There we go. Get some more lands in play. We're still still got a loaded hand. Seven cards. We're not even like really putting very much stuff out on onto the battlefield if they're holding like sweepers. Trust me, you'll thank me later. So 
This is looking great. No time for a break. It's like what like what are they supposed to do? Can't do anything. Now what? This is just gonna be way too many cards. Do I just play like Cavalier Thorns instead? Uh. Sure. Honestly, we just want to be hitting lands because it's just way too many cards. That's fine. Just be impatient. Wow. I won't forget our time together. Get some lands. Go get em, buddies. Yeah. When your hands are just too good. Oh, discarding Omnath instead of the Green Cavalier. Both those cards you just discarded are awesome in this matchup. Just shows how how ma many cards we have, just how ridiculous these risen reefs have been. All right, GGS. Final boss defeated. Playing control against elementals is really rough, as you see there. So much card advantage with elementals we um, had the first hand knowledge of that also with playing grixis against uh the quasi duplicate elemental version um but yeah so this this did exactly what what uh, we wanted to do there um the goal of the deck was to you know take full advantage of risen reef which as you saw there we really did this was built around risen reef for sure and then also have Chandra Awaken Inferno at the top end, um, being a, a finisher, giving the opponent emblems. And we got to do that also. So it looked good. Everything worked pretty well here. Um, Thunderkin Awakener really looked good, especially when you, when there's Risen Reef in the graveyard. But even there's like some other times, like when we just like getting back a Scampering Scourger over and over, it looked really good there with that. Pretty cool little card there. Pretty cool little card there. All right. That's Teamer Elementals. So if you're watching later on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. And also, of course, like always, leave some comments. I always like seeing some comments um, over there. Um, but thank you so much for watching some Teamer Elementals. And I'll see you for the next video.